See, a lot of people, because they don't want to make any mistakes, it takes us to the next level. A lot of people don't want to fail. Fear of failure, fear of success, and guess what else? Fear of the unknown. I saw a guy last week, came up to visit me, haven't seen him for years, Bob Boyd from Columbus, Ohio. Bob Boyd introduced me to motivational tapes, introduced me to a lot of motivational speakers and positive thinking in a multi-level marketing company at that time called Best Line Products, had an inspirational leader named Bill Bailey. Jim Rowan was in that as well. And so Bob Boyd, that, that folded. And, but here's what about Bob Boyd, why I was interested in seeing Bob last week that drove up from Columbus. Bob Boyd, that I know has been involved, personally I know, and I've been involved in business deals with him. Bob has had at least 30 failures that I know, 30 business failures since I've known him since 1972. Incredible. So I wanted to hear this deal that Bob was bringing me. Les, I've got to talk to you. <laughs> so he came in in the traditional Bob Boyd fashion. Hello, Les, how you doing? I said, fine, Bob. I wanted to know if Bob had lost in his fire steam, had life beaten his dream out of it. Bob said, Les Brown, I've got a deal. You know, you get exposure to a lot of people. Man, I've got a deal. I'm thinking, does he want me to join Amway? What is this? <laughs> Man, I've got something going. Man, this thing, man, Les, it's a money machine. I said, tell me about it, Bob. But here's what was going on in my mind. Bob didn't mention anything about all the losses, deals we'd lost some money on. He, it never came up in conversation. It was like this is the first deal he ever brought me. I said, what courage. You know what Winston Churchill said? <laughs> you know what Winston Churchill said about courage, Pat? He said, courage is the ability to go from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. <laughs> so you want to courageously hold on to your dream and not lose enthusiasm. See, Bob has not internalized failure. Things just didn't work out the way he wanted them to work out. He's still looking for his pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And he was so fired up traditional Bob Boyd fan. He took his coat off. Les, let me tell you something, man. You've got to see this deal. With the things you're doing, you're now on PBS. Les, you'll make a fortune, man. I just can't wait to tell you about it. I said, tell me, Bob, tell me. <laughs> when he got to talking, I said, Bob, I want to be a part of it. He said, now explain to me what I just told you. I said, I don't know what it is, but I want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> I didn't even know. See, you get fired up about something. People will come to see you burn. They want to go to... <laughs> So I like the fact that Bob has not lost his fire. Bob is still hungry. Bob still sees his dream. Bob is still searching for a way to make it happen. He doesn't care about people talking about it. Man, he's never kept a job. Guys had 15 or 20 different jobs, all these business deals. Bob has turned a deaf ear to that. A guy in Los Angeles, all over the front page of the newspaper, he just passed the bar after taking it 48 times. He had more than enough reason and excuses not to take it. His son has a law firm. He could have been a legal assistant, a clerk. And people all of a sudden used to laugh at this guy. He was a laughing stock. Are you taking the ball lately? <laughs> Can you imagine what they did to this dude? Know what I got here is man making a career taking the bar. <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, he need to make a career to pass it. <laughs> People will do that too. You know, people talk about John Kennedy Jr. failing the bar. Did you read in the newspaper that he passed? I didn't see that, but did they make a bigger deal about him passing as they did when he failed? No, you know why? People like to see you fail. They like to see that. It, people like that. I don't know why it's set up like that. I was on the expressway, traffic was jammed up. You know what was happening? It was an accident, but people pull over to the side to get out of their car to go look to see somebody else's suffering. That's why talk shows are so popular. So people like to hear other people's misery. Get it caught up in that. Then they go magnified in their own lives because that's all they focus on. I bet not catch you going to any accidents here. <laughs> Bob Boy went to conquer his volcano like that gentleman who decided it doesn't matter how many times I fail. I'm going to courageously pursue it. I don't care what people say. I don't care what they think. This is something that I want that gives my life meaning and value. You got a volcano like that in you somewhere. There's something.